Hi, hello, Namaste. Welcome back to Needs of Children. Atmiya SSLC Vidyarthi Gade. Even the video is English Medium Social Science Chapter Number 4. Opposition to British Rule in Karnataka and Warriors of Mysore. Even the lesson is important. Notes are discussed in the So, previous video is the third lesson history. Discuss my degree. So let's come to the history chapter number four opposition to British rule in Karnataka and Badiyars of Mysore. Yes, among that first main fill in the blanks. Among that first one, the first Anglo Mysore war took place between Dash and Dash. The answer Hyder Ali and British. Second question, the second Anglo Mysore war ended with Dash treaty. Mangaluru Treaty, the Treaty of Mangaluru. Third one, Raja Vadayar made Dash his capital. Answer, Sri Ranga Patnam. Fourth one, Kituru Chennamma adopted a boy named Dash, Shivadingappa. Fifth one, Rayanna of Kituru state belonged to Dash village, Sangoli. The village name called Sangoli. Sixth one, Surapura is the present district of Dash, Yadgir district. Seventh one, the Vedas of Dash village of Belagam district rebelled against the British. Halagali village of Belagam district rebelled against the British. Eighth one, the Amarasulya rebellion was basically a Dash rebellion, a farmer's rebellion. So let's move on to second main Discuss in groups and answer later. What are the achievements of Chikka Devaraja Vodayar? Answer. He was an efficient soldier and administrator. He checked the invention of Shivaji at Madurai, Ikkeri and Bijapur. He captured Magadi, Madugiri, Koratagiri and other places. He purchased Bengaluru from the Mughal Military General. He had the titles like Karnataka Kavichakravarti, Aprathima Veera, Tenkara Raja and Navakoti Narayana. He started the Council of Ministers Athara Kacheri to help in administration. The postal system came into being during his time. A dam was constructed across river Kaveri and Chikkadeva Raja and Dodda Deva Raja canal were also constructed for irrigation. He had patronized many poets like Tirumalarya, Sanchi Unnama and so on. So let's move on to the second question. How did Hyder Ali came to power? Answer. The death of Chikka Deva Raja Vadayar in 1704 created various political changes in Mysore state. His death created the problems of succession and administration. All these developments clouded the politics of Mysore. Hyder Ali gained prominence in this scenario of uncertainty that clouded over the Mysore and Carnatic region. Hyder Ali soon became popular in using arms and experiments. He undertook the invention of forces by active military operations and suppressed Dadawais. He imprisoned Krishna Raja Vadayar II and kept him under the house of arrest and took over the power. He became famous as Nawab Haider Ali in a short time. So let's move on to the next question. What are the effects of Second Anglo Mysore War? In 1781, Hyder Ali was defeated in a battle held in Porto Nova by the British. The British suffered financial setbacks in Pulikot and Soliganu. Meanwhile, by entering into the Salvai Agreement, the British were successful in winning over Marathas and Nizam of Hyderabad to their side. Hyder Ali died due to illness during the war in 1782. The war was led by his son Tipu Sultan. What were the conditions of Sri Ranga Patanam Treaty? For question, an answer for this. The British were successful in 
insulting unfavorable conditions in order to weaken Tipu Sultan. Tipu was forced to part with half of his kingdom was forced to pay 3 crore rupees as war damage fee and had to pledge two of his sons as a guarantee against the payment. He was also forced to release the prisoners of war. The British withdrew the combined army from Sri Rangapatta. The fourth Anglo Mysore strengthened the position of the British in Mysore discuss. Answer The war started in 1799. The British were able to destroy the strong fort. Tipu died while fighting the British in 1799. With the death of Tipu Sultan, the British were happy as if the whole India came under their rule. Most of the territories under the Tipu's rule was shared among the British, the Marathas and the Nizam of Hyderabad. A small territory was handed over to the royal representative of Mysuru Wadiyas. This region became to be known as Mysore Princely State. So let's move on to the next question. What are the achievements of Krishna Raja Wadiyar IV? Answer, Krishna Raja Wadiyar IV was very much interested in spreading education among his people. He abolished the fees in all primary schools to develop primary education. He helped girls education. He started the University of Mysore and also started scholarship to the students continuing education in foreign countries. In 1905, the Indian Institute of Science was established at Bengaluru with the help of Tata. Special attention was given to the development of irrigation. A barrage was constructed across Kaveri near Belagoda. A new railway lines were laid. Many small and large scale industries were started. Among them, iron and steel factory, cement factory, paper mills at Bhadravati, sugar factory at Mandya, sandal oil factory at Mysore, soap factory at Bengaluru, chemical and fertilizers factory at Belagula and so on. Legislative council was formed which was a great step in the legislative measures. Let's move on to the next question. Explain the method of resisting the British power by Dondia Walk. Answer Dondia was born in a Maratha family of Chennagiri. He was called the Walk, the tiger, due to his bravery. In 1789, he started his career as a cavalry soldier in Hyderali's army and grew to the position of a military general. He built his own private army and fought along with Tipu Sultan. Due to differences with the Tipu, he was imprisoned. The British released him from the prison after the 4th anglo mysuru War. He built a small army and started his operations. He organized the army with unhappy soldiers of Tipu's army and the federatory rulers who had lost power. He captured Vidanuru and Shivamugga fort and made unsuccessful attempt to capture Chitradurga fort. Lord Wellesley tried to check this rebellion. So let's move on to next question. Explain the method adopted by Rayanna to fight the British. Answer. Rayanna was a brave soldier. He fought for the independence of Kitturu and felt it was his duty to liberate his motherland. He fought against the British and was imprisoned along with her. He was later released by the British. He developed a sense of nationalism and went on organizing an army. He organized secret meetings at sensitive places. He aimed at looting the treasury and taluku offices of the British. He had an army of 500 men. 
He became furious with the villagers who were assisting the British army. The British devised a cunning strategy to capture Lyon. He was declared as a main offender and was hanged to death at Nandhagar in 1831. So next question, explain the contributions of Puttabhasappa of Kodagu in the freedom struggle. Swami Aparampura, Kalyana Swami and Puttabhasappa organized a rebel against the British. All the three declared that they were part of the Haleri dynasty that ruled Kodagu. Swami Aparampura assumed the leadership of rebellion. He captured in 1834 and shifted to Bengaluru. Similarly, Kalyana Swami was captured in 1837 and placed in Mysuru prison. After the capture of Kalyana Swami, Sulya, Bellare and Putturu, the major places of Kanara region, were part of Amar Sulya. It is interesting to note that a farmer named Puttabhasappa as Kalyana Swami. This Puttabhasappa later presented himself as Swami Aparampura. This was also notes the fluid nature of the rebellion. Puttabhasappa took over the leadership of the rebellion. The rebels marched towards Mangaluru through Panemangaluru and Bantwa. They looted the treasury and prison of Bantwa. The British sought the army of Thala Cheri, Kennanore and Bombay to quell this uprising. On hearing this development, Puttabhasappa and his associated fled towards Sulia. The British captured them with the help of people in Kodagu. Puttabhasappa, Lakshmanappa, Bangara Rasa, Kedambadi Ramaya Gauda and Guddemane Appaya were hanged to death. Though the rebellion failed, it has an important place in the history of rebellions against the British. Let's move on to the next question. Discuss the Surapura rebellion in brief. Answer. The British interfered in the affairs of Surapura. In 1842, they appointed Midas Taylor as their resident and gained a proxy power over Su Surapura. The British government was observing the various developments of Surapura in 1857. It came to the notice of government that the representatives of Nana Sahib were present in Surapura. The British appointed an officer named Campbell to report on the various activities of the king. The officer submitted a report to the resident of Hyderabad that the king is involved in mal administration. Venkatapanayaka is usually presented as the leader of 1857 revolt in Karnataka by the historians. The British army captured Surapura in 1858. That's it from the lesson chapter 4 opposition to British rule in Karnataka and Vadayars of Mysore. In case of if you have any doubts related to question and answer, you can comment in the comment box. I will try to solve. And I will come back with the next video. Until keep watching my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you in the next session. Bye-bye. Take care.